maandamano si mbaya but in the way we are going about it kwa hivyo baba na, na president si ngumu kutafutana kama wamekata kutafutana ni hao wenyewe wako na kiburi yao maybe we anasema wacha mimi nitafute na wao anasema wacha mimi mwanzo nitafute ama you just don't see what the other person has so tutaenda maandamano mpaka lini Kimwangalia dada wangu huyu anapendeza sana sihitaji kumintroduce bali na ningetaka jintroduce because sura inauza maandamano hey! Unajisikia kuandamana nini Hi guys my name is Sabina Anyango Stadler I am a filmmaker I am a Kenyan Kazi kwako kido Of course umesahau kiongozi wetu pia Kiongozi mambo ya kuongoza niliwacha Kwa nini Kwa sababu nilisimama mugu moini nikasimama tena unless wanasema the third time is a charm pale sasa mgumu ni simama naenda langata jalangwa aende wapi state house mimi nibaki wapi parliament next question please ah ah unajua unanipeleka haraka unasema jalangwa aende wapi penye ataenda mimi nichuku nichukue so una langata constituency unajua ukijaribu kitu sana mm. pia Mungu anakuambianga mm. eh unasema oh god if you bless me let it rain alafu unaona imerena bado unasema bless me so sasa nitaenda langata nimesimamia langata kwa ofisi ya government affirmative action fund kwa ofisi ya honorable passaris kwa uwezo fund kwa hivyo mbona nisisimame mp inawezekana because inawezekana wanawake wa... tusimame sasa eh, kuna wale ambao pia wamesimama sana kwenye industry mm -hmm. eh, nazungumzia viongozi wetu wengine mpaka leo hii wajapata kama karenyamu tuendele <laughs> Kwani umemwelewa ni vita kwa nini? Nini? No, lakini alinominatiwa kwa hivyo bado ni mheshimiwa. Jina la mheshimiwa kwa ufupi nataka mjua haikuji rahisi. Mm. Whether you are nominated or elected. Mm. That's why hata mimi mtu akinita mheshimiwa usikubali kwa sababu nilianguka. Hiyo jina it's very hard to get. It's very hard. It's not easy. So ukiona hata mtu ameanguka ate hey, mheshimiwa no, muite kiongozi. Vanyo umenita kiongozi. Cuz I've not earned the right to be called mheshimiwa. Wasikuti mjini lazima uishi na jina la mheshimiwa. Hakuna utaishi wewe ndo utakulwa. Hakuna kuishi utaishi. Mheshimiwa, eh hey, hey, fair, mheshimiwa school fees. Wewe mwenyewe huna school fees ya mtoto wako. Sasa nani ndo mheshimiwa? Si wewe ndo sasa mheshimiwa. Maisha nakupeleka vipi kama kiongozi? Maisha nanipeleka poa kama nilivyosema kwa sasa naongoza tu familia yangu na filamu zangu zile na produce kuna filamu tume shoot na star actor Aziad Nasenya. Eh, hey, mwanamke alini shock alinipatia every emotion and I've been an actor for over 10 years mm -hmm. so I was not sure can she deliver the movie is called the odd pair and she's the star actor and she really did so well she has a radio show I, alikuwa anakuja set saa 4 tunatoka saa 4 usiku asubuhi ndo huyo she has to research and so she really did well and she has an amazing management team we are the one person nimeona like it's important for a star or content creator actor producer whatever you are in the creative industry to be like have an, a management because I really made her work so easy she impressed me so well if i ever get another movie i would definitely want to to cast her again why are so many actors producers don't feel like working with uh, management i think we just it's still a new niche you see like uh, asia is being managed by peter kawa peter kawa has been a producer an actor director so it's very hard even me as an actor siko iko na manager but if you have a manager They do so well with you. I never even called Aziad to discuss the contract, to discuss when she's needed. I went through the manager. So if everyone would do, would do that, it would be so easy and she's traveling, she's in Nigeria, she's in Ghana, she she has a workshop even coming up now, a master class. So it's very important for for guys to have managers and wale watu wanaweza ku manage watu mujitokeze because if now you ask me who should manage me? I don't know, maybe tumbiri. Tuwe matumbiri wawili. <laughs> ah, okay, nikipenda kuuliza wewe kama filmmaker because tumekuwa na maandamano. Yes. Na kesho kutakuwa na maandamano pia. Sijui kama ina affect wewe kama producer director. Ina ni affect sana because uh, on Thursday tomorrow, okay, ina ni affect sana because this Thursday uh, ilikuwa tuko na master class ambayo ilikuwa imeandaliwa na multi choice but now they've moved it. We can't do it virtually because people you know we don't know what's going to happen mandamano we're we going to disrupt the thing we want people to be safe in whatever they do even if i was having a shoot i would have to cancel it because i don't know which crazy kenyan i'm going to meet so mandamano si mbaya but in the way we are going about it i think we are all uh, we are all at fault 
Azimio, we also have our problems. No, sorry, Azimio have their problems because now I'm a Kenyan. I don't want to make this comment being partisan. And also the government has this problem. Like Eric Omondi. Eric Omondi aliko na shikwa nini? All he's doing is just carrying his mkokoteni. Ata ajafika, ata pale nini. Then it's Preet Road. Umesha mshika. You know, so let's allow Kenyans to have the freedom of speech, but let's also respect people's property and let's respect the constitution. Of course, we're the constitution. It's the right as opposition to play their role. Okay, is it is it the right to take Tomboya? Tomboya Street ime, imefanya nini? Venye tu sakaja alisema. Tomboya Street sayu kienda utafute uta ipata. Yeah, sour. But you see, the, the thing about killing each other, what wanaiba? You take that opportunity. Mi ni mekua kwa siyasa. Since how many years? Now na hivi, watu wanaibiwa hivi. You can't do anything. So that's the... And that's why mi meata sikuenda mandamano. Because I would go. Because I work for a politician who is in Azimio. I would have gone. But for me personally, I don't, I don't support. Let's find a way for the opposition to work well with the government. To kubali anasote kwa sote ni wa Kenya. Sote tutaumia. Yeah. Tuliona uh, governor wa Kisumu, Nyang Nyong, aliyeza kusema, mandamano itoke Kisumu. Mm -hmm. Na mepatia watu... Go ahead, kutoka Kisumu, kuja Nairobi. Uh, wafanya mandamano Nairobi. Na we, a very close uh, friend to the county. Ama you are very close to a uh, few individuals, ama uh, leaders in the country. What, what's your take on that? Uh, kila mtu wako na hiari yake kufanya, siju kama watape wafaya kukuja Nairobi, I don't know. What's, what's the purpose of all that? Sija fuatilia kujua. But I also still don't understand why we are doing mandamano. Cost is, of living is even high. To Liskia Mwindi Mousi, I 15 million worth of goods. Imagine, that's someone's father, that's someone's boss. Kuna mtu kwa hiyo kazi ya miumia. Is it worth it at the end of the day? So that's what we need to ask ourselves, Kenyans. I'm a young lady. I may not know much about the country leadership and all that. Yes, you might find maybe, oh, now it does make sense. But as the next generation of leaders, this is not what we want to see happening. There must be a better way. Or are you distracting us from something? I still don't get it. Kiongozi Sabina, do you think maybe uh, William Ruto anafa awaskize kidogo, awaite kikao, wakai chini, we kama politician, do you think uh, wanafa waketi labda wazungumzi? Hata kama si mkatenusu. I don't think this is about mkatenusu. If it is, then it's, a, a, it's actually the wrong way to go about it and that would be a shame. I think the government, the president is a public office, is open to even talk to me. If I want, if president should actually be able to meet with Sabina and listen to my cry. So I don't think the president has refused or should refuse to meet the same way Jalango went to meet the president. I think if anyone wants to meet the president, it should be an open call, especially someone like Baba who has been an opponent. You know, so, so that should be something that is so easy to do. We don't have to do a mandamano for that. If that's why we are doing mandamano, then both leaders have failed us. Okay. Tumaona uh, kiongozi wa Langata Jalango hajaweza ku attend any Azimio protest. Na vile vile tumeona ameweza kushirikiana na rais wetu kwa karibu sana kwa miradi za Langata na miradi za nchi. Na watu wameweza kumpiga mawe wakasema yuko msaliti wanasema wewe amenunuliwa. Wewe kama rafiki wa Jalango karibu wa Jalango ni kweli anadhulumiwa na watu wanawekewa mambo ambayo sio haki? Ah uh, mimi si rafiki ya Jalango first of all. Mimi namjua Jalango tu kama venye mtazamaji anamjua hivyo. Kwa sababu sote tumekuwa sanii, you know the industry is so big. But I would say Jalango akona haki yake kufanya venye anataka. But for you to go against the Azimio which has given you the ticket. Hapo ndo inakuwa ngumu because kama Jalango hange kuja na ticket ya ODM for sure, saa hizi hange kuwa na rip benefits za kuwa MP. Lakini watu wengi wana shift camps. Kuna mtu atatoka Jubilee aende UDA, wa UDA aende Azimio me or DM, whichever, it's his right to do anything um, he wants, to shift camp. It's actually, hata kama kuna, in, you know, they say politics is about interest. So whatever his interest is at this point, kama ni kuenda kwa serikali, ni sawa. Hata mimi na support serikali, hata azimio kukiona, mi na wama Kenyan, nikiona kitu kizuni nita support kwa azimio kwa UDA popote. So um, I don't see there's a fault in that. But don't don't be scared when you face the repercussions of your action. Because next time, somebody who uye ni mtu wa baba kabisa hata kuvotia because watasema ulienda kwa president. So next time, be ready to face the, the fire when you see Sabina on the ballots. Tumono, viongozi wetu wanaeza kutumia matamshi ambayo siyo haki na siyo sawa. Na inaeza kutuchochea ama inaeza kutulidi sisi kama wa Kenya. Vile vile tumona uh, baba me, amesema ataendelea kuandamana na wa Kenya wanapoteza ajira ekonomi na shuka chini shilingi yetu dola inapanda. Siyo kama unona uh, waeze kumtafuta muna pendekeza maybe waeze kumtafuta baba. Amu ngependekeza kumbia baba maybe haeze kupospone hii mambo ya mandamo na tafuti strategi ingine ambayo itaeza kusaidia. 
But mm. ani watu wanajuana, ani watu unifanya tu mimi najua Sara Hassan. Nikitaka kupigia Sara Hassan nitampigia hata nipigia. Yaani si ngumu kwa Sara Hassan kunitafuta. Kwa hivyo baba na na president si ngumu kutafutana. Kama wamekata kutafutana ni hao wenyewe wako na kiburi yao. Maybe wewe anasema acha mimi nitafute na wewe anasema acha mimi mwanzo nitafute. Ama you just don't see what the other person has so tutaenda maandamano mpaka lini? Hmm? Baka eri komondi tena bebe mkokoteni tena mbebe kila siku watu don siju don GRG siju KRG waende walipe bill bail gorse melango shuali tutaenda hivi kila Monday na Thursday two days in a week vijana tu wako eh? sherehe we are going to lose out in fact we are hurting the economy more than how we are helping shida ni zile zile bado unga ni ile ile bei nothing has changed tunangoja gas tuliambo itafika a certain amount I'm okay. Me by the I'm okay to support the president even though I'm in opposition because we need to give someone time to catch up. But the opposition also na hiyo ndo kazi yao. Hiyo ndo kazi ya opposition. By the need to oppose, si ndio? So we need to just find a way to make this country move on for the best because Pia Baba ako na kura zake, yeah? It's almost half the country if not more and the president also has his kura now by winning 50 plus 1%. So all these people have a mass. So one camp uh, suffers, you are talking about almost 50% of Kenyan suffering. So we need to unite. Kama ni handshake in whatever sense. Hakuna si lazima nusumkate. Me I don't know what the interests are, but I know my interest as a Kenyan is to see Kenya move forward to be better than how we are now and how we have been before. That's what will make the president get that thing of no, now we have a president issue ya maandamano unaona kama itatuwezesha si wa Kenya kuweza ku co divided because the more inaendelea the more yes. Kenya na co divided yes i think uh, like plo lumumba said this is something to watch out this is how we just start we are going to start blaming azimio maybe luos and uh, a majority and then kikuyus then you are it's going to start to look at your neighbor like that luo that kikuyu that kalenjin That's how Rwanda just you just see a genocide happening out of nowhere. We did this in 2007. Let us be people who can learn from our mistakes. Let us be people who want to see this country united. We say you want to to unite the country. Yeah? So let's we are all hustlers. If you want to hustle a nation, we are all hustlers. Okay. Yeah. Mvua imenyesha sana juzi na tumeumia sana kama wana Nairobi. Tumeona maji yanaingia kwenye boma magari hizi kupita na wewe rafiki wa karibu wa Sakaja. Yeah. Ali promise akasema let Let, let give me chance to make Nairobi work. Hatujaona Nairobi, hatujaona kitu kinaendelea. Tuliona tu Nairobi festival. Okay. Uh, I can't comment much about what the county government of uh, Nairobi is doing and then we also have to know this is a new term. This is just for me even working for honorable Pasari I can tell you it's a new term. There's so many policies, protocol, treasury, pesa and wengine. Then you have to vet as the board, you have to vet the projects. So it's so much time that it takes to to do any change. So let's give it some time. Let's just be patient. And uh, I know like Sakaja um, uh, his excellency Sakaja gave some food even to Langata recently which is near my my house. 200 people got food oil mchele so kuna vitu zingine we can't f- all feel right if we need jobs let's let those people uh, see sees on these departments let them do that what was ministries like i really like uh, um waziri kindiki kithure he's always in the media he's always doing something in those combats like where are the other css what is moses kuria doing What is uh, Aisha Jumwa doing? Let's see the CSS do their job. That those are the people who are supposed to support the president. And that's why you might see the president looks like he's not doing anything because the people below him need to push his agenda. Okay, na dani swali yangu maybe ya Sakaja ukipata vizuri. Mm. Hatukusema Sakaja balisha Nairobi ajengee watu nyumba. Yes. Bali ni maanisha ukiangalia drainage, yeah. issue drainage iko. Ukiangalia issue ya garbage iko kila mahali na kuna wafanya mm. kazi kwa county. Mm na tumai anafaa tu ku make orders na kuweka structures ambazo tutaweza kuona kuna drainage na tunatakataka zimetolewa mahali because yeah. mimi mahali nakaa mvua kinyesa tena ni shida yes kuna watu hata in mugumoini where i reside where unanyeshewa sasa sasa hivi nyemvua inanyesha it's very hard people cannot uh, procreate people cannot sleep people cannot you know it's many a lot of things that sisi hatujui mvua ina affect aje but i blame it on the mcs because the governor is running 85 wards How is he supposed to know mugumoini hapo Raila kuna nyesha na kuna shida ya drainage is the MCA to go and push and knock those doors and that's why I wanted to be an MCA because most of the MCAs are not doing their job but the traffic pia ni MCA traffic umeniambia maji sasa tukiongea traffic mumeekewa expressway mwenye wako na pesa wapande juu waache maswali mingi <laughs>
Maasla mngoja huko chini mpambane na maandamano. Alright, uh, ningependa mimi uongeleshe vijana ambao wanatumika vibaya kwa hii maandamano na wale ambao wako nyumbani wanatutazama. Alright. So to my fellow youth, uh, I'd like to encourage you na nikuulize swali. Hivi sasa leo ukipigwa bunduki ama wacha kutolewa kushikwa huko mnatolewa na wabunge na ma MCA. Sasa hii ukipigwa bunduki mamako pale nyumbani ama ushago ndo tabaki akilia. Oh Kennedy wangu. Oh sijui nani Kevo wangu walimuua. Wali she might not even get justice. Ni mnyonge. Wewe tutakuzika, tuta move on. Tutaendelea, tutapiga election, tutakuja hii Kalasha Film Festival nyingine hata tutakusahau. Maybe once in a year, siku ile ulikufa one year later, we post you oh Kevo rest in peace. So vijana, take care of yourself usikubali kutumika. We tafuta wera wachana na wizi utashutiwa bure na tutakusahau. So I just pray that the government will also help us. We have so many people willing to work. Even me I have so many movies I want to do, but I don't have money. So I need people to help me. Other people like myself, other young people have so many ideas, but we need help. We need support. We need fund. Like now we have Kenya Film Commission giving funds, empowerment fund. If it's in another industry, if it's technology, if it's agriculture, those ministries give funds to uh, help these young people like myself um, to to be something and to be something in the future tujana mama pasaris commander man sio mepotelea wapi mama pasaris tunaona hiyo tunafuanana tu lakini mimi si mwakilishi wake kummekia comment kwa hivyo naomba mtamuuliza pale twitter ako na followers over 700000 hata wajibu <laughs> shukran alafu unajua ile mama pia mrembo jamani alafu weupe nywele mkimwona hivi mpiga tia gas mama yetu jamani mtammaliza kwa hivyo wacha tutangoja jibu lake. Alright, shukrani sana kwa wakati wako na tazidi kuonana. Thank you so much. SBM boss 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 boss. <laughs>